toxicity versus purity. You know, I talk a lot about detox and, and what we can do to, to detox the body and just how many things that we eat are toxic. But what about the people around us that might be toxic? What about toxic thoughts? What about toxic ideology that we might have? All right, so when, when we look at detoxing, make sure that we're getting some of the bad out of the body, but we detox because some people around us might be toxic, right? It's never the ship that sinks in the water, right? As long as the ship is in the water, the ship can float. But if that water gets into the ship, that is when the ship will sink. So I'm gonna ask you, what kind of ship do you have? You know, what kind of friendships do you have? Is, are those friendships toxic? Might that be the water that's getting overboard, right? Maybe it's not just what you do. Maybe it's who you're with. So not only can we detox the body, but we need to detox the friendships, right? Maybe some of the friends want you to go out and have fun. Maybe some of the friends want to pull you away from what you're really focused on. Are you really focused on something right now, right? Focus on it get with it, reinvest back in yourself, right? Is there an asset that you're trying to invest in? Is it you that you're trying to invest in? Maybe you've started a new business, right? What are you gonna do with that, with that monies when you make the monies? Are you gonna reinvest it back into yourself? Are you gonna go out and find some way to spend it and, and put more toxicity in the body? Think about the toxicity levels that are all around you, right? If you live near a highway, all the carbon monoxide, right? The people that are in your life, maybe the jobs that you have. What, what is staying toxic? What can we detox out of the body? You have the ability to do that. Not only from internally detoxing, but from externally detoxing. What are you allowing into your brain, into your eyes, into your mind, into your heart? What are the things that you're allowing? What could you be allowing? What's the love? What's the laughter? What's the kindness that you could be allowing into your heart? So that way you might be able to pay it forward to somebody else. So I want y'all to all think about detoxing, especially this time of year. You're outside, it's hot. Can we go out and detox? Yes, right? We can go out and sweat a lot of stuff out. Can we detox some of the people from us? Absolutely. Maybe it's summer for you. Maybe you're out having fun with your family. Maybe we can detox some of the other things out of the body so that way we can reinvest on who you really are on the inside, on the asset that you have when you can reinvest back into yourself, not only your health, but also your wealth and see what we can do together. So detox not only the bad, but detox the bad people out of your life. Get more love in your life. Get more laughter in your life. Get more kindness in your heart so that way you can share it to others. Coach Crafts coming at you. Get your mind right.